Welcome to Runway Academy. We're going to be taking a look at how you can use Gen 1 with other magic tools to create visually dynamic scenes and edits like these. And the main idea is taking multiple sources of footage and combining them into one shot. So let's dive into how it's done. Start by using Gen 1 to style a source video. Create a style reference either by using a reference image, a Gen 1 preset, or a prompt that you can enter. I'm using a reference image here, playing around with different settings, different structural consistencies, weights, previewing different options, and seeing which ones work and deciding on a result I'm going to roll with. Once you've landed on a generation you like, take that generation and bring it into the Remove Background tool to isolate your subject. Even with some complicated Gen 1 results, removing the background should still be pretty easy with just a couple clicks. Then export the mask as a ProRes video to maintain a transparent background, which you'll then bring into a new runway project, inserting both the newly isolated subject and on the bottom, the source video. And so with your subject on its own layer, we can start adjusting these independently. I can scale up the background, I can add some effects from the Effects and Filters panel, and in that Effects and Filters panel are options to color correct your shot, among many other options. In fact, I might even delete this background, go back to Gen 1, do a completely different style with the same source video, then throw that new background behind the subject. And really at this point, you can go as far as you want with it. Even more, you can add speed ramps to your clips by trimming a part in the middle and increasing the speed. So now, your motion is a little bit more exciting and has some higher energy. And once you're happy with it, you can export your scene or keep adding more. So let's recap this process. First, run source footage through Gen 1 to generate a style. Then, green screen the subject out of the generation, and you can do this for as many shots as you want. Then, bring in the newly generated green screen shot into the timeline, along with some other clips, and comp the shots together. And finally, you can apply effects, adjust blending modes, or clip speeds. And of course, this process can be repeated as much as you like. The combination of Gen 1 and the Remove Background tool is really powerful, and is one of the few among many, many combinations of tools in the AI Magic Tool arsenal. I'd recommend checking out other Runway Academy episodes that feature these combinations of magic tools. Thank you for watching, and if you have any more questions or want to get in touch with us, just feel free to hit the button at the bottom of your dashboard.